what if I told you that a DNA test, just one series of genome studies, has completely rewritten what we thought we knew about the origins of the Maya? And not in the dramatic Hollywood way people expect, but in a way that's far more complicated, far more unexpected, and honestly, stranger than anyone predicted. Because the real story behind the Maya doesn't begin where most textbooks start. It doesn't fit cleanly into the neat historical categories we were taught. And once the full genetic picture emerged, scientists realized the truth wasn't just surprising. Some said it was worse, meaning it shattered long-standing assumptions and forced researchers to rethink the entire migration story of ancient America. Most people today believe the Maya descended from a single wave of migrants crossing the Bering Land Bridge. Simple, direct, and widely repeated. But the DNA doesn't support that. At least, not completely. Because when researchers analyzed ancient Maya genomes, taken carefully from archaeological remains in Mexico, Guatemala, and Belize, they uncovered something far more layered. Mixed ancestries, unexpected genetic signatures, ghost populations, migrations no one had ever documented, and evidence of a deep, tangled past that had been hidden beneath the jungles for thousands of years. But let's not jump ahead. To truly understand how shocking this discovery is, we need to step back and ask a simple question. Who were the Maya supposed to be, according to the old story? For decades, scholars believed the Maya descended from the earliest Paleo-Indians who migrated from Siberia into the Americas somewhere around 15,000 to 20,000 years ago. These early groups were thought to be genetically related to northwestern Asian populations forming a relatively uniform lineage as they spread across North, Central, and South America. From this single ancestral stream, regional cultures emerged. Olmec, Sapotec, Maya, and so on. But when geneticists sequenced DNA from Maya remains dated between 3,000 and 10,000 years old, something didn't add up. The Maya didn't descend from a single ancestral population. Their genome was unexpectedly diverse. Instead of one migration shaping their origins, there were multiple. And instead of a smooth north-to-south progression, the genetic data revealed surprising back-and-forth movements. Waves of people entering their region, others leaving, and some groups disappearing entirely from the genetic record. One of the biggest surprises came from a set of ancient genomes found in Belize. These individuals had ancestry that traced back to an early, previously unknown population scientists now call a ghost lineage. This wasn't a mythical group. It was a real biological population that somehow left its genetic mark on the Maya, but had vanished entirely from archaeological detection. No ruins, no artifacts, no written records, just DNA whispering from the distant past. This ghost lineage appeared to be neither purely Asian-derived nor similar to known ancestral Native American groups. Its presence raised a question researchers still haven't fully answered. Who were these people? and how did they blend with the ancestors of the Maya. But the surprises didn't stop there. Another Maya genetic signature pointed to an early migration from South America. Yes, South America. Thousands of years before historians thought such movements were possible. This line of ancestry was faint but unmistakable. It suggested that ancient groups were traveling far greater distances, far earlier than anyone assumed, long before formal trade networks or documented cultural exchanges existed. This is where things get worse for the traditional story, because the clean linear explanation of how the Americas were populated no longer works. Instead of a simple family tree, the Maya origin looks more like a braided river, with multiple streams connecting and reconnecting. Early ancestors from Siberia, yes but also input from populations migrating northward from South America and influence from mysterious undetected groups that left no trace except in the DNA of the Maya people. Another twist emerged from the comparison between ancient and modern Maya genetics. While there is strong continuity, modern Maya communities are direct descendants of their ancient predecessors, there were also signs of dramatic population bottlenecks. These were not caused by collapse or warfare, but by environmental disasters thousands of years before European contact. Climate data supported this. Severe droughts, crop failures, volcanic eruptions. The Maya didn't just survive them. They adapted, rebuilt, and in some regions, expanded. Then came another shocking layer. 
When scientists compared Maya genomes with those of other ancient Mesoamerican civilizations, they found something unexpected. The Olmecs, often considered a foundational culture, or not a separate genetic group. Instead, the Olmec and Maya shared a deep ancestral connection, with genetic overlaps suggesting they weren't isolated neighbors, but intertwined branches of the same vast cultural and biological network. This overturned long-held assumptions that the Olmec were a separate mother culture. The DNA argued for something more accurate. Early Mesoamerican societies influenced one another far more than previously believed. But here's where the puzzle gets even more fascinating. The Maya also exhibit genetic signatures suggesting contact with groups from what is now the American Southwest and even the Gulf Coast of the United States. These weren't full migrations, but small traces of shared ancestry passed down over thousands of years. Proof of ancient trade routes, intermarriages, or small-scale movements that left permanent marks on their DNA. So now we have a picture. Early Asian-derived ancestors, ghost lineages, early South American migrants, environmental collapse survivors, interconnected neighbors, and long-range contacts across the continent. This is not the simple story we were told growing up. It is richer, deeper, and far more stranger than we imagined a century ago. But the most surprising finding came when researchers sequenced the genome of a 10,000-year-old individual from the Yucatan Peninsula. This person's DNA revealed a branch of ancestry that was deeply related to early First Americans but had almost no relation to modern populations in Asia. This meant that some early groups in the Americas may have split off before the Siberia population diverged into the groups we recognize today. In other words, part of the Maya ancestral line could be older than the Siberia to America migration theory itself. This single discovery forced scientists to reconsider the timeline of human movement into the Americas. As more genomes were sequenced, a pattern emerged. Diversity, movement, complexity. The Maya weren't the product of a single migration event. They were the product of countless journeys, across continents, across millennia, and across environmental catastrophes. Their origins weren't worse in the doom and gloom sense. They were worse in the sense that the real story is far more chaotic, far more mysterious, and far more challenging to explain than the simplified version repeated for decades. But the story doesn't end with ancient remains. When modern Maya individuals participated in DNA studies, their genetic continuity astonished researchers. Despite colonization, disease, forced displacement, and centuries of upheaval, the core Maya genetic identity remained strong. This is a rare case where ancient and modern populations are nearly continuous over thousands of years, a testament to cultural resilience and survival. However, modern genomes also revealed clues about ancient dietary changes shifts in population distribution, and adaptation to tropical environments. So Maya communities develop unique genetic markers related to heat tolerance, altitude adaptation, and metabolic efficiency. These were not inherited from distant ancestors, but evolved locally over long periods, demonstrating how deeply rooted the Maya are in their lands. The DNA also highlighted something anthropologists always suspected. The Maya weren't a single monolithic group. They were a mosaic of related but distinct communities with their own dialects, customs, and genetic nuances. Some lineages were more influenced by ancient South American populations, others showed stronger continuity with early First American ancestry. This variation helped researchers map trade routes, marriage patterns, and population splits that occurred over thousands of years. By the time the full data was analyzed, one thing was clear. The old theories about the Maya were overly simplified. The real origins were not straightforward, not linear, and definitely not isolated. The Maya were part of a vast, interconnected world, one with migrations we didn't know existed, ancestors we haven't identified, and stories we haven't fully uncovered. And just before we continue, make sure you're subscribed so you never miss videos that dive deep into discoveries like this. So what does this all mean? It means the Maya story is still unfolding. Every new genome adds another thread to the tapestry. Every discovery raises new questions. And every answered question reveals that ancient America was far more dynamic and sophisticated than anyone imagined a century ago. But perhaps the most powerful takeaway is this. DNA didn't expose a dark or problematic origin. It exposed a complex, resilient, and astonishingly ancient one. A story of survival innovation, 
adaptation, and identity that continues today in millions of Maya people across Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, and El Salvador. And now the big question. With all this new genetic evidence, what other ancient American civilizations might have origins that are just as surprising and just as misunderstood?